Hey everyone, it's Ty, and I thought I would do some kind of wrap-up of Anthrocon, and uh, we have a lot to go over. So, first off, I just want to say thank you for Anthrocon for putting this on. This was an amazing con. This is my second year going. First year was a lot, but this year was even better. There were so much things to do. I mean, you had the boat cruise, you had tons of panels you even have like escape rooms now the escape room we already did in a different con so we just decided not to do it this year at anthrocon but still so much fun all right there was so many fuzzies here my first anthrocon was like uh, five or six years ago but there were like seven thousand i believe but this year we broke a record 17,639 fuzzies at this convention. Wow. <laughs> when you put your minds to something, you could easily just crack these numbers. I thought FWA was going to crack the number, but nope. Y'all said, not today. Anthrocon is going to do it. So it's like, Jesus, calm down a little bit. For those of y'all who didn't know, I actually had my own panel that I was actually doing at uh, Anthrocon called so you want to be an actor slash voice actor and oh my god y'all did not disappoint there were so many people there we filled the room entirely and oh my god i just gotta say anthrocon if i'm coming back next year and uh if i do this panel please give us a bigger room that would be much appreciated just saying but guys i know what you're out here for you want to see the Anthrocon merch haul. See how much money we spent. Well, I'll let you know. To do that, I'm going to have to take these gloves off. So you're going to see my human hands. But don't worry. They're not that ugly. My eyes! My eyes! So, we got a lot of stuff actually just for attending Anthrocon. Because me and my fiance were super sponsors. And the first thing we got was this beautiful Anthrocon mug. Look at this mug. So beautiful. We also got Anthrocon t-shirt. Woo! But the first thing we bought as soon as we got to the was then if you, uh, my hair was actually starting to uh, come undone because I'm not the best at sewing. So what I did is I went to first supplies. So what I got is a sewing kit. This came in handy. Because not only did my hair decide to mess up, one of my paws decided to mess up, so I actually was able to fix that. And oh my god, it was just a lie here. So if I'm going to any conventions, I will have this on me. If you need anything fixed up, let me know. We also decided to go to the donations table because they have some persona pins of theme parks. These are like little otters going to a theme park. Like, look at it, it's so cute. But we got both of them because it's two different ones. How to support them. We also went to our friend Circuit and Sorcery, who was actually at the Artist Alley, to pick up one of the uh, things that they were selling, Roller Coast Fur Badges. For those of you who didn't know, I love roller coasters. I'm a roller coaster enthusiast. I have a little over 200 coaster credits. We actually have a whole channel dedicated to roller coasters. So if you want to go check it out, go check out Eight of the Thrills. That's me and my fiance. We love doing roller coaster stuff. This is the inside of the track. I'm standing inside. This is amazing. This is so cool. Three, two, one, go! Ah! We're actually on a roller coaster tour right now, but that's over there. Human furry. Human furry. Uh, one thing about me as well is that I love My Little Pony, and let's see if I can say this correctly. Simone Lion Creations. They did these wonderful stickers. They did just some uh, random pack of sticks for this one, and of course the main sticks for this one. Sadly, there was one place, well two places actually that I don't remember who they were that I bought these from. One of them was a purple kind of paw, paw print keychain. It's so cute, purple is my favorite color. And it's just so cute. We also got 
a stitch keychain. You can barely see stitch on there. Let's see. Is it seem better there? There you go. I also ended up getting from my fiance a baby Bowser print. Because it's so cute. Look at him. Oh my god. So cute. But the main thing I was so happy for was a place called Hello Cute Cucumber. They had a standee of another favorite show of mine, The Owl House. Look at that. We have Hootie, we have King, we have Luce, and we have like a mini Ida there. I think it's so cute. And the stand is a light glyph. Awesome. But one thing we also did get is we went to Pizza Parma. Now, for those of you who don't know, Pizza Parma, as soon as Anthrocon comes around, they change their name to Furryland. And they have their own stuff that they sell there as well. And of course, you know us furries, we like to, you know, we like to help support the community. So, we got their bowls, Furryland right there. But we also got, can you hold this up? Uh-huh. We got a t-shirt of theirs. And of course, you know, tie-dye. I had to get the tie-dye. It's so awesome that they have their own merchandise for Anthrocoaster as well. So awesome. And it says Furryland on it. But now for the something else I got for free. I was in the Western lobby and there was someone passing out cheese and foam cheese. The name is Vera Sergal on Instagram, uh, no, on Twitter, my bad. So go check them out there. I don't know if these are for sale, but it's so squishy, it's like a stress toy, I love it. And my fiance actually bought something as well. <laughs> he bought his first tail. And this is the only tail that we found that actually was like full rainbow. It matches my hood. Yes, it does. I don't think they can see your hood, so come a little bit closer. Arf. Arf. See? Rainbow Hood. Aww. Aww. And who is this by, hun? I believe it's by Coyote Yote Creation or Coyote Yote Creation, however you pronounce it. Yes. Thank you very much. It was $100. But it was very, it's very well made. It has a double belt system for that and fits very flush against your back, so I love it. But Ty, did you tell them about the cruise we took? I did not. We you took a cruise. Yes. And here's the picture to prove it. Look oh, at that. Yes. It's so awesome. Yes. I didn't think I would like it being on a cruise because I didn't. I've never been on a boat before, but it was so much fun. Mm -hmm. uh, I will say it was hot though, <laughs> very hot. Oh yes. my God, I had to drink a lot of water. Uh, Seth has something that he wants to show you that he actually won from a game show. So I'm gonna let him take over. Oh. Here you go, hun. Hello, YouTube world. Oh my gosh, my ears, look at that. <laughs> Fix, Fix that, okay. So, it's always a good idea to go and have fun at cons. It's always a good idea to go and play some of the games and game shows because you never know what you might win. So, one of my favorite game shows of all time is Wheel of Fortune. I've always been really good at it, and Ty will not watch it with me because... I suck, and he always beats me, and it makes me mad. Well, anyway, if you played Wheel of Fortune at um, Anthrocon, and you made it to the show, if you came in third place, you won a small plushie. If you came in second place, you won a coupon for anything for free in the con store. Oh, wow. That would have been nice. But if you win, you win free registration for 2025 Anthrocon. Wow. Yes, that is like almost a hundred dollar value. As you know, Wheel of Fortune, there's a bonus round. And if you solve the bonus round puzzle, you win a free sponsorship for 2025. And guess what? I... I'm going to Anthrocon 2025 for free other than the hotel. So if you're going to AC 2025, I'm gonna see you there. So with that, I do wanna say, if you're thinking about going to Anthrocon, do it. some helpful hints for you. If you're gonna be fursuiting, try and get a hotel that's close to the convention center. I know the block does go very quickly, but if you get sponsor or super sponsor or even ultra sponsor, 
you really have a better chance of getting one of the hotels because you get to choose first. Absolutely. But some uh, hotels, I'm not sure if this works at Anthrocon, some hotels will let you book in advance and if there's a cheaper discount that comes up, they'll just switch your room to that discount rate yep. and then there you go, you already have your room taken care of. Mm -hmm. But again, that is iffy. Oh. I would also say make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Pittsburgh, around the time the Anthrocon is, is always super hot. Yes. So you will be sweating, sweating, sweating. So make sure you hydrate because you don't want to dehydrate. But other than that, that pretty much wraps up our little video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you think of something that we should do for next time, let, let us know in the comment section down below. Also, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Why? Because it's there. And that's not the only con we're going to. Oh no, we have still another con you know, coming here soon, Megaplex, yes. which I will be hosting again my voice actor panel. And I will be hosting Whose Lion Is It Anyway? Mm -hmm. Very so excited about that. Come check those out. Yes. But until then, as always, ta-ta for now. Bye.